Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP Pavilion X360 uh, laptop. The exact model is a 13-U108NA. And in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and clean up the fan system, replace your CPU, and you should do this once every couple of years or at least every couple of years I would say, depending how much you use it. If you're using it too often, six hours a day, you might wanna do it once a year. This is really easy to do if you follow every step and you should get it done under 10 to 15 minutes. I'm gonna power up the tools that I will be using and everything will be linked in the video description in case you wanna purchase yours. So first thing first, you wanna power up the laptop. By doing a repaste cleaning, you're not gonna change any configuration, anything like that. So simply, it's just a physical thing. So power off and flip it upside down. Tool number one is a screwdriver set. I fix the screwdrivers are one of the best screwdrivers out there. We're gonna be using a Phillips number zero from this tool set. If you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a opening tool, a guitar pick. A metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. You need a curved tweezers. A curved tweezers are good to have. A uh, plastic or wooden uh, rod or spatula. A very important one is an alcohol, 95% plus isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol. One sheet of the workshop towel. The reason I always say to use workshop towels because as soon as you put alcohol on top of this one and you clean over the component, you can rip this uh, towel apart and it will not damage the components. But if you use a microfiber towels, you can tangle on the capacitors and you can damage the motherboard. So use a, a workshop towel. And you need a good thermal paste. I'll use the Arctic MX4. You can use an Arctic MX5 or 6. If you wanna go overkill and with the best thermal paste, go with the Thermal Grizzly Paranaut. I'll leave the link for this thermal paste. But in this case, the client wants to use an Arctic MX4. All right. If I miss anything, I, I use toothbrush, it's good to clean up the fan system. All right, also uh, a needle, you're gonna need a needle. So you're gonna use first the needle to remove the rubber legs on the front end of the laptop. The corner rubber legs are the same size, the mid ones are the same size, so don't, miss my, don't mix them. So I stick it right there and bring it upward, put it to one side. Right, once you remove the rubber uh, foot on the front, you want to remove this cover on the middle, right in the middle, right there. Put it there. Now you want to grab your opening tool and you want to stick it right on the back rubber leg right there and you want to lift it up. You want to bring it up in 45 degree angle. Don't yank it all the way. You're going to crack it, bring it up like this and put it to one side. Now we're gonna use the screwdriver with a Phillips number zero, and we're gonna remove the screws on the back cover. This, all the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. So go ahead and remove these screws. Next, you wanna remove the chrome screws. Again, they're all the same size and height. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. All right, once we remove all the screws, now we're gonna open up the laptop. Let this towel right here so it doesn't reflect the light. Now we're gonna grab the opening tool and we're gonna stick it between the palm rest and the bottom cover right there. And we're just gonna twist it and we're gonna hear that clicking sounds. That's what you want to hear. You want to hear those clicking sounds and we are ripping away from the bottom cover. You want to do the same thing on the right side, all the way to the back corner. And I'll put my finger here so it doesn't close down. And I'm doing the left side. There we go. Once we have that and you're going to feel a little tension that is not coming out, because there's a little two hooks, one right here, one right here, the hooks. So what you wanna do, you wanna put your finger right there and you wanna 
one your finger to cross here and you want to lift it up from here and you want to hear a little click right in the middle. Don't yank the palm rest with a flex cable. Once I put my hand here and I felt the other one yanking up, if it didn't, I'm just going to pull it from here upward. Now I'm going to bring it upward and there we have it. Now we need to remove this flex cable for the trackpad. We are going to put this opening tool at the back right by the jack and we are going to twist it like that. Now we can lift up, pull back this flex cable. Same thing on the flex cable for the trackpad, for the keyboard flex cable, it's from the back side. So you want to do it that way and then you want to pull the flex cable back. And there's your palm rest. Next, we want to disconnect the battery. To disconnect the battery, you have to remove the battery. So remove this black screw that you see that touches the battery. So it's from one corner. So it should be one, two, three, four, five, six screws. So remove the sixth screw that touches the battery. Now we're gonna lift up the battery from the back side and bring it upward towards the ceiling. All right, next we are gonna disconnect the flex cable for the storage. We have upgraded this the storage in here and pull it back. We are going to disconnect the flex cable, the connector for the power jack. I don't like yanking on the cable, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the tweezers right there. I'm going to push it backward like that. And then I'm going to untangle it and bring it to one side. We're going to disconnect the flex cable for the LCD, pull up the jack and pull it backward. Pull up the jack for the speaker cables, same thing. Gently. Two cables, two antenna cables, just pull them upward, bring them up. The touchpad, touch screen, flex cable. Remove this flex cable for the bridge connector. So bring it up, put it to one side. Power on switch, flex cable with a little adhesive. So I'm going to use that adhesive to my advantage. Now I'm going to disconnect this uh, battery for the BIOS. I'm just going to peel it up. There's an adhesive, put it right underneath, and then lift it up. There's a magnet here, so make sure that it's not near the magnet. I'm going to put it right there. I'm going to remove the single screw on the Wi Fi board right there. Now I'm going to start from this side um, by the hardware. I'm going to remove every screw that is a little arrow. So this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine screws. So go ahead and remove all these screws. All right, once you remove all those screws, all you want to do, you want to pick up the motherboard from here from the front end and bring it upward and pull it backward. And there we have it. I'm gonna put this towel right there. And we are first gonna disconnect the cable for the fan. Again, same thing. Don't pull on the cable, so. Okay, do it like that, there we go. There we have it. And there's a little gaffer's tape right over. So feel that gaffer's tape right there. Now we're gonna remove the four screws that is holding the heat sink. Make sure you put over something flat. The screws have a little C lock on them, so it will not come out entirely. So you just have to loose them up. There we go. Now we can lift up the heat sink. Now you can take it outside, use a toothbrush and clean up the pins on the uh, heat sink. To clean up the CPU, just rip apart a little bit of the towel, soak it in an alcohol and rub over the CPU. All right? Same thing you can use to remove the excess of the 
thermal paste in here. There we have it. I use that again a little bit of dry part to do a second pass, make sure there's no fiber or anything dust on top. You want to put one drop of the thermal paste in the middle die and one on the second die. The second die is a PCH chip, so if that's your question. Now we're going to put the heat sink straight over. You're going to hold it with one finger and we're going to cross the screw them. So do one screw on this side and one right on the opposite side. So that way the thermal paste evenly spreads over the CPU. There we go. And make sure you connect the fan cable. Make sure the Wi-Fi port is in there. Everything is in nicely snug there. Now, what you want to do, you want to grab the motherboard, bring it down and slide it right in place. And then drop it down. Make sure all the cables are staying on the top. You start from this corner. First connect the jack right in there. And then make sure this cable goes under the hinge. We are going to open up the lock for the flex cable. Slide down all the way inside the jack, the flex cable for the screen. Make sure gently and close it down. Put the connect cables right under the hood. Grab this battery. Put it right in place. Put the chrome screw for the Wi-Fi board right there. And that is not necessary. You don't have to tighten up too much. Now these antenna cables, I'm going to grab it, align it over. And I'm going to push it down and it should click and it snap in place. There you go. There we have it. Put the speaker cable. Push it in there. The flex cable for the touch screen. Lock it down. Put one is two screws first over here under this flex cable so it doesn't bother you later on. One right there. And then slide the flex cable right in there. Grab the bridge cable. Open up the lock. Slide it in there. Lock it down. Slide it in the other side. Make sure it's nice in place. Put it there. And now we're gonna go around and first let me put this flex cable for the two hard drive and lock it down. And we're gonna put all these nine screws that we removed. All right, once we put all this in, now we're gonna grab the battery. We're gonna put the back end of the battery down here. There's a little pinhole right here. Put that one and there's a pinhole on the other side. Put it and then drop it down and squeeze this connector right there. And then you want to put the five, six screws, whatever screw that is required for the battery. Start it from one corner. Make sure you don't drop the screw over the motherboard, otherwise, you're going to be in big trouble. You could prevent it by putting a towel like that to the connector nearby so you don't touch it. That's a preventive way of doing it. So if you're clumsy, do this. If not, you don't have to. All right, once you have all the screws in there, make sure the cable, everything is not right in place, right, like this one here. I have to go in place nicely, it's really stuck out, otherwise the cover is not going to go in place. There we go. Alright. Now we're going to grab the palm rest. You want to put this bottom of the palm rest right on the hinges, this side. You want to bring it straight. 
All right, so I'm gonna bring it down straight and leave it like this in 45 degree. I'm gonna open up the lock for the keyboard. For the trackpad, I'm gonna make sure it goes straight from the back all the way inside the jack. And then I'm gonna lock it down with the other finger, just like that. Same thing on here. Put it all the way in, lock it down. And bring the palm rest right on top, and then you wanna just squeeze it. Make sure you got nice click sounds on the sides, on the back here. Now in the middle too, like that. And pretty much we are done. Oh, I missed one screw on the battery, I believe. So there's one screw I missed on the battery. I'm gonna open it and put it. I'm pretty sure the screw on the middle. Actually, if you miss one screw on the battery, don't worry about it. It's not gonna go anyway, just to hold it in place. I think I missed it because it went on the side of the laptop. But yeah, try not to miss the screws. But if you miss one, keep it on one side for the next time when you open it up. So on the bottom, here we're gonna put the rest of the screws. And we're gonna put the rubber cover. I hope you guys like this video and help you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Once you put that one in there, just grab the bottom cover here, squeeze it and put it in place.